Welcome to Insane Diesel's Extreme Bypass Filter Channel. Ultra-fine filtration that eliminates most oil changes and radically extends engine life by keeping oil clean while the engine runs. Its patented progressive technology filters from 10 micron down to 1 micron. Today we're going to do an installation on a boat engine, a Mercury 5 liter. The stock full flow oil filter stays in place, but the Extreme Bypass oil filter is now doing all the heavy cleaning. As a result, oil stays clean, blind oil changes are eliminated, and replaced by an intelligent oil analysis program, saving hundreds of dollars and radically reducing engine wear. Visit InsaneDiesel.com to learn more. So let's get started. First, to determine our mounting location, we want to get an idea of where our pressure and return ports are. So let's take a look at this engine. So this engine also has a remote mounted full flow filter and so what we're going to do is follow the supply lines from this filter down the engine to where the filter would normally mount and see if we can find a pressure port. And we're lucky, there is a number of ports and one of them has a sensor that's not being used so we're going to pull that sensor out to put in our feed line. So now we're going to try to find a return location and we always look for the oil filler cap to see if that'll work where the oil can be drained right back in. So, conveniently, this one takes a Cummins style oil filler cap and we have a billet uh, aluminum ported oil filler cap with a swivel port to make it really easy and it just installs right in. And so that quickly we have a return spot. Normally we'd have to install uh, the valve cover, take it off and put a port into it. But in this case, uh, we're just going to be able to run it back down to where our mounting location is. So now that we have an idea where our pressure and return ports are, we can mount the filter in a location that's convenient. Here's the bracket already mounted on it so we can kind of make sure it doesn't uh, hit anything. And then we'll take that bracket off as we mount it to that uh, running board there on the side. Right along here we'll drill some holes in and when we get it done uh, it'll look something like this. So we're going to loosen that oil pressure sender with a socket made for it and just get it enough so we can take it out with our hand and then we're going to prepare a fitting with Teflon tape uh, to replace that that will adapt it to our hose fitting. So we just pull that out, it looks just like that, verify the size. So here's our adapter fitting for the uh, engine to the hose. The engine side gets Teflon tape, the other hose side right here doesn't get tape. And we're just going to insert it there where we pulled the other one out. When it's in, it looks like this. Then when we attach the hose, it'll look something like this. Okay, so we got the hoses secured to our oil filter housing. We've rotted it from the oil filler cap as well, the return hose, and looks good. So let's take one final look. We've got our uh, oil filter mounted where we want it. We got our oil feed line coming from the old oil filter housing to the filter and then the return line going around the back of the engine carefully routed to avoid any moving parts and sharp edges and uh, the linkages there and then conveniently to our oil filler cap with the return port in it. And that's how it works. That's how it looks. So this Mercury boat engine was actually a pretty easy installation with a readily available pressure port and the convenience of a custom oil filler cap with a return port that fit the engine. All in all, it took just uh, over an hour to do the installation. To radically increase engine life and save hundreds of dollars over the life of your engine, get the Extreme Oil Filter from InsaneDiesel.com.